Welcome to today's episode of Lessons from the Trenches. This is episode number three. Today we're going to talk about something that I've done quite a bit of over the years, which is building a business case or an ROI model for a deal. And one of the biggest pitfalls I've found in building such a model is the believability of the opportunity that you present to your stakeholders. So there are a few different factors that go into the believability factor, if you want to call it that. One is the baseline. In order to build a business case, you have to gather inputs from your stakeholders to understand how they're performing now. And oftentimes that can be a challenge depending on who you're speaking with. So that puts the onus on you to go out and make sure that you collect inputs to support your business case around current performance that the rest of the company and the, especially the executive hold, stakeholders are gonna believe in. The second is building the opportunity based on something that you believe to be true or that you can prove to be true based on use cases from other customers or industry benchmarks or whatever it may be. You wanna make sure that that opportunity is believable. I always recommend being somewhat conservative. The final thing is to make sure that you present that business case in their language. And what I mean by that is, as an example, this past year, I built a business case for an organization and I used revenue as the primary opportunity, right? It's pretty standard. But it turns out that while the company recognizes revenue, that's not the key metric that they care about. What they care about is gross profit. So I had to convert the entire business case into gross profit in order to get buy-in from the C-suite, the CFO and the CEO, who ultimately had to sign off on the opportunity. So that's the lesson for today. When you're building a business case or an ROI model for whether it's a product or service, think about these three things. One, the inputs matter. You're gonna to have to gather really good inputs from how they're currently performing from across stakeholder groups, whether those are executives, analysts, whatever you can get your hands on. Two, make sure the opportunity that you present is believable. Have it backed by industry benchmarks or believable stories from with your organization, how other folks have performed. And the final thing is make sure that you are speaking their language. Present the opportunity back to them in terms that they understand. Hope this is helpful. Want to hear some tips and tricks for how you build business cases for your prospects and customers.